Apollo led the way to the moon, and we, the Artemis generation, are going there to stay. Those of us in blue flight suits, the start of the Artemis generation of astronauts, could not be more excited about contributing to our nation's goal of putting the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface by 2024. We, NASA, have been partnering with U.S. industry in order to achieve the best of what each organization's bring. So without further ado, the companies are SpaceX. The SpaceX design is a single stage solution using their Starship. The SpaceX proposal included in space propellant transfer demonstration and uncrewed test landing. The second company is Dynetics. And Dynetics has many partners that they will be working with. It also has a very unique low slung crew module, putting the crew very close to the lunar surface for transfer and access. Dynetics will perform a demonstration flight to verify key capabilities for its lander system. And the third team is the national team with Blue Origin as the prime. The team's design is a three-stage architecture consisting of an ascent, descent, and transfer elements. With this diverse set of architectures, NASA is confident in our nation's ability to perform the Artemis missions. The landing on the moon in 2024 will be the most dangerous and complex flying task attempted by humans in more than 50 years. And it's only been done six times ever. That's why we're so excited about how to learn how to fly these landers so we can make that smooth touchdown on the lunar surface and do what we came for, lunar surface exploration. Subscribe, Subscribe for more space. space.